Hey guys, I am going to teach you in just a few minutes how to astral travel. You know, astral travel, in my understanding, is this out-of-body meditative experience um, that I was taught around about 11 years ago when I entered uh, recovery um, from drugs and alcohol. You know, I was in the horrors as I always was and I was talking to this counselor and he said, Danny, I practice this meditation where I leave my mind and I travel, astral traveling. I said, Nick, teach me how to do that. Nick gave me a good rundown and over the last 11 years, I reckon I've practiced this, let's say 1,500 evenings, at least a few times each week, okay? And today I wanna to share with you some of my tips and explain to you guys just how simple it is to astral travel. Okay guys, here we go. Now, this may not work for you right now as you're listening to me. I would suggest you do this in bed at night. That's where it works for me. I need silence around me. So guys, what we need to do is we need to close our eyes, okay? I don't want you to squint your eyes. I just want you to lightly close your eyes and we want to look for the light. You might be thinking, what is this guy talking about? There's no light, it's black. Of course it's black, your eyes are closed. But I want you to imagine the light. If you can't see any light, squint your eyes tight for a second and then just relax them a little bit. And then you'll start to see some stars. Well, this is what works for me, guys, okay? Those stars are the light I'm talking about. You might see it in a strobe of light. You might see a bright light. But when you see that light, I want you to focus and lock yourself in on that light. Lock your imagination in on that light. Now, the light might fall off. It happens to me all the time. I want you to find another light. It's cool. This might take 15 minutes to get this right, okay? But what's happening is we're getting out of our head and we're getting into a meditative state. Now, when you find that light and you've locked in on that light, then I want you to move towards that light. Imagine yourself coming towards the light. Okay, as you're getting closer, the light begins to get a little bit brighter and then all of a sudden, boom, this light's really bright and your whole eyelids are just absorbed by this bright light like someone shining a torch in front of you, okay? We're halfway there. Now, next thing, I get a little bit excited, excuse me. The next thing is I want you to imagine the mesh, okay? Now this mesh could be a wire mesh, it could be a rope mesh, it could be a string mesh. I want you to imagine the mesh, okay? When you see that mesh, I want you to imagine yourself moving towards that mesh. So I'm talking about the mesh in the bright light, okay? When we start moving towards that mesh, we're getting really close to astral travel, okay guys? Now, we're moving towards that mesh, okay? We're right there, we can see the mesh, it's right before our eyes, then I want you to open the mesh, okay? What we need to do is we need to climb through that mesh. We need to open it up and bring our body through that mesh. Now guys, we are so close to an outer body experience right now, okay? The minute we get through that mesh and we completely climb through the other side, boom, I believe we are in astral travel. Guys, as I said, I'm no expert on this. This is, I'm not a yogi, I'm not some guru. This is just my experience over the last 11 years. This is the way that I've helped myself bring some sanity and some serenity to myself. And to be honest,